Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and turn the great strategy games. And today we're back into Warplan Pacific, and you may say, back into? We never left! Uh, <laughs> I am recording this uh, directly after the last one, uh, because this game comes out Thursday, April 29th. It is currently Monday, April 26th. We got turns to run here. And so I'm going to be playing this a lot before Thursday. Mainly, you know, uh, maybe you don't have time to watch them all right now, but as you get the game uh, on Thursday or, you know, next weekend, something like that, you may say, hey, I don't know how this works, or that works. And, you know, generally we will have worked through it here. And so I want to have a nice big bank of episodes up for the game. So anyway, we have pretty much moved everything. We've built what we wanted to build, uh, which included some transports. It included some merchant marine ships. Um, we did build a submarine group for the United States. We're holding on to some things for the Brits. We've got other things that are re being reinforced for other countries, uh, but that's all good. We've done our convoys, so we've got the U.S. sending a lot to Australia, the Brits sending a lot to India uh, so that those countries can build units. They don't have enough production on their own. They have got to get imports from the, the two big powers on the Allied side. So we're doing that. We've moved all of our units in China, India, Malaya, we, here in Burma. We've got Indian units just streaming down here to Rangoon to try to hold Rangoon if we can. The Japanese likely to take Malaya and Java this turn. Maybe. I don't know. I kept this air unit here. I'm not sure if that was a smart idea or not. Probably should have gotten it out of there. In the Philippines, Japanese about to take that. Uh, we have we do have a lot of divisions here, but they're not probably going to be able to hold to be quite honest with you um and we got the american air division out, or air group i should say air units out of here we're going to take them down to darwin i believe uh we've got submarines moving around we've got some anti-sub stuff going on we've got convoys happening it's all going on but i think we're ready to resolve turn one and so this is the first time i've done this uh really uh so let's go in turn are you sure yes uh gosh am i sure i don't i'm never quite sure i always i get anxiety pushing this button because i'm afraid i've forgotten something but let's do it and see what happens events production and research okay now we have this on the slowest of the slow uh for resolution because i like to see what the uh, japanese are going to do um this could run and I did this in the first video, this could run in about 30 seconds, uh, is about how long it takes on the fastest AI resolution. Um, but I want to see what happens. Now they're moving their fleet around. I think they have four different phases sort of of the AI. They do their fleet moves, they do ground moves, they do air moves. So those three things they do kind of um, separately or, you know, they count down. As you can see, oh, hey, our submarine got attacked. Uh, cool. Okay, we'll have to go look at that. It looked like there was no damage. I saw a zero and a zero there. Uh, so, uh, okay, cool. Uh, we're on, I say, cool, we got attacked. Uh, but that's all right. It didn't look like uh, we took any damage. This subgroup, I say this submarine, that's what I said originally. This is a group. This is uh, like five to eight. So I've, I've got to look at the exact number, uh, but it's a number of subs. It's not just one, but it's sitting here in this convoy lane. And hopefully we will take out some Japanese shipping. Uh, and hurt their cargo because ultimately, you know, we've got to do that. Um, they've got 60, now they're in the front operation stage. I think that's ground movement for, uh, you know, if we're going to put that in layperson terms, uh, that is ground movement. Um, going to be really interesting. I like to watch these play out. You know, I know some people just, nothing annoys them more than the AI turn. Uh, but I like to see what's going on. Uh, to me, it's a, an important part of the game. 
uh, and to kind of get a feel, you know, sometimes you'll get a feel of where they're being really aggressive, where maybe they're not being quite as aggressive. Now, we have that one Japanese unit in China there that is isolated. We'll see if they try to, you know, blast out of there because they are surrounded at this point. Man, they are coming from Rang for Rangoon. That is for certain, but we're going to give them a hell of a fight. We've got all those Indian troops coming down there. Okay, they're coming after the Red Chinese. They're going to go kill some commies. Uh, no, we're going to, we're, we are the commies. At least those three units. All right. So, I mean, they're pushing in China so far. I guess they still have 50 units uh, remaining here, 49 to move. Uh, nothing crazy so far. Like I said, really the highlight so far is that attack on the sub. Uh, so I said they have different stages, you know, so they do this kind of, they move their fleets. Now they move their ground. Uh, maybe they already did move their air. I didn't see them move any air, but that doesn't mean they didn't. Uh, then they probably like look at their advancements and do all of those kind of behind the scenes or logistical kind of things. Oh, wow. They dropped back here. I, I thought for sure they would come to try to attack here to, you know, blow a hole open. You could see all of those forces lining up back here in Japan, uh, ready to come over. Okay, zero and zero on the damage there. Okay, hey, we held strong there. The attacker took two. The attacker took one damage. Now they are trying to blast out. And they did make us retreat. Now they took a damage point for that, or they lost a strength point. Uh, but they did get us to retreat. Now they're getting this division to retreat in the Philippines as they start to uh, make their, their will known. And now they're pushing here, and we are inflicting losses on them. We'll go look at the combat report this time. Uh, now, front operation stage two. Okay, so there was a front operation stage one. Oh, if you're wondering what these airfield looking things are, that means we've identified, we have enough detection to know that those are air units. We just don't know what they are. So they show us an airfield to show, yes, there are air units out here, but we have no idea what they are. Um, and so you see these airfields because we just don't have a detection level on them. We don't, we don't have enough to say, hey, it's this or hey, it's that. I'm not sure if they have enough in the Philippines to run us over uh, as of right now. Now, they're going to land more things there. I'm certain of that, but I don't know that they really do right now. All right. Well, they haven't. He hasn't been able to get out of here yet. Now you can see where Japanese territory is. They really need to get a unit up there to kind of attach with him, right? So that he's. Whoa! We got him dropping back a little bit. They said, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" Yeah, that's right. These Indian forces are way. I mean, that's going to be hard to attack across that river. Now, unfortunately, that's a clear hex. I wish that was. Um you know, a mountain or, you know, mountainous, deep, uh, heavy forest. A lot of that stuff around it is, but that's not. All right, it's used up its operation points. They're going to have to bring something else in here to try to connect up with that. Oh, you can see the snow. It's snowing here. Uh, that helps us, right? We're on the defensive. Uh, we've got rain. We've got snow out here in China. Now they're doing port naval operations, all right? Part two, part two, there we go. Air move operations. This should be interesting. Now, myself, I'm going to do this a different order. Oh, and that's it. Okay, so turn one has resolved. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's read this turn report. Allies deliver resources to China via the Burma. Burma Road. That's great. We've got the Burma Road open. That's why I'm running down to protect Rangoon because I want China to get this plus five production and plus two oil. Convoy attack versus Japan route at 5057. Okay, that is probably that sub we put in. Um, we can always come back to this, but let's keep going. We'll go back to 5057. 
Uh, oh, it tells us. Skipjack submarine squadron attacked the South China Sea convoy lane with one group, sinking zero merchant marines and zero escort. Okay, shoot. So we didn't get anything done there. Uh, Dutch East Indies South Sumatra garrison got shattered. We saw that right above Batavia in Java. It just shattered that garrison unit. Um, oh, shoot. Supply convoy attacked at 9138, destroying 40 stockpile by... Gosh, darn it. Now we've got escorts out, you know, at different places... We're going to have to go look and see. this may be, remember, we're not protecting South China Sea now. Uh, it could be there. We'll go look at these different, you know, hex designations. Um, 28, okay, these have no or low supplies. We're going to look at them. They come up here as warnings. Convoy attack versus UK route. The Takio uh, cruiser squadron attacked the South China Sea convoy lane with three groups, sinking zero merchant, zero escorts. This is what I was talking about. Um, okay, UK route. It's South Pacific here. Okay. Now that's a little different. We're going to have to go look at that South Pacific group. Uh, their subs attack the so South Pacific as well. Uh, uh, sinking one merchant marine. Okay. And zero escorts. Uh, convoy attack versus Australia route. Huh. Uh, with one group, zero and zero. Okay, well, interesting. We need to go look at 9138 and 5057. So 9138. All right, it's very handily uh, clicks this down for you as you, whoops, as you move there. 91, nope, wrong way. 9138. So this goes from top to bottom. Okay, so this is 9140. So this happened right here. What the heck are we doing running? Oh, this is a this is a UK base here at Manus. So if we back up, this right now is a UK base. So all they did, there's no way we could have protected this. Uh, this was stop, or, uh, supplies coming into Manus here. This naval force is within two hexes of it. It will interrupt that supply. There was absolutely nothing we could do about that. It's a UK base. It won't be for long. Nothing we could do about that. Okay, I don't feel so bad about that. I was like, how did that happen? What did I miss? Okay, we can go back up here to reports now and see 9138. Okay, 5057. So let's go look out. At, whoa, too far. 50 and then 57. That's 5051. Okay, 5057. This is where we were hanging out. And what did it say again? Convoy attack versus the Japan route. Right, we did that. Uh, nothing happened though. 9138. Convoy attack versus UK at 4536. Okay, where is 4536? Uh, right. Okay. So it's this task force, the supply that is tried that automatically tries to come into Batavia here was attacked. And, uh, you know, there's just not a whole lot we can do about those things. We can try to protect these convoy lanes. Um, but that supply is coming in here, right? Uh, this one would come in through the convoy lane. So I guess we could protect this. This is South China Sea, but we're not going to hold this for very much longer. Just like this is South China Sea. Now, what's interesting is we did get an attack on the Australia one. And what is this convoy route? This is the Indian Ocean route. Okay. What is this? This is South Pacific. This is South Pacific. All right. Where's the Australian one? South Pacific. Because it definitely said Australia. Am I, am I wrong about that? Attack versus Australia route at 146.17. Okay. Um, nope, this way. 146.17. Oh, I, I hit right on it. That is it. Uh, this is actually South Pacific. I think they need to fix that in the game. It's confusing. Um, 
it says convoy attack against a versus USA route. Okay. I guess it does go on to say the South Pacific convoy lane with one group. I don't know, you know, versus Australia route at 146.17. So I, I just think it would be better if it said convoy attack uh, in was attacked in the South Pacific by this sub squadron. Uh, because that did confuse me slightly, but maybe I'm just kind of dull. Uh, it's possible. <laughs> you know, people have said that before. Uh, 146.17, right here. So kind of just right there from South Pacific. Well, that's okay. We got a destroyer coming down the way here. We know that there's a sub there. Now, we don't have a... Well, well let me take that back. We think there's a sub there. Uh, we don't have any detection on it right now. It is now, oh, well, maybe this is it. It's moved up here by Pago. Pago, potentially. It is now, if it's within two of this, um, it will be blockading this port or attempting to. And so any supply that's going to come in here, it's going to try to deal with. Now, we may try to get these destroyers over here to deal back, okay? And so we will be going after that. Um, now that we kind of know what the heck we're doing a little bit, let's go look at some of these units with low supply. All right, the USS Houston. This is the one coming out of the Philippines. We're going to look down here. That's fine. We're going to go put this in Sydney anyway. It's only got one of three strength. It needs to be repaired. And there you see it, dock in at Sydney. Unit has low supply. Okay, it's Singapore. Well, we could have guessed that, right? It's being blockaded. Singapore is. Nothing we could do about it. Unit has low supply, right? Unit has low supply. Uh, sure. I, you know, not to be expected here. No supply source, uh, no supply source and no uh, supply. Uh, those two kind of go together. Port supply interdiction. And that's what this is, right? Um, or is it here? It could be Cota Baru. It could be down here. I think it's this, though. This is the interdiction. So there's, it's just not getting any supply. Now, it wouldn't anyway because these are blocking it off. But this entire port now has zero, I do believe. Yeah, I'm showing supply and you're seeing nothing. I mean, the, the island is just darkened out because it was all coming into Singapore, but now it's got none. Okay, so we knew that. Partisan activity at Rabal. Excellent. So we could potentially, and we'll have to go look at the combat logs, uh, have caused a little problem for the Japanese here on Rabal. Now you see they've moved an air unit up here. They probably are going to start trying to attack Port Moresby. Uh, partisan activity in Shanghai. Excellent. Get those partisans going. More activity in Shanghai and some in Tajin. So uh, our partisans are, you know, making things happen. Uh, these, these are all the units that moved and stuff. If we go down, I think we can see the, uh, the, the little movement. Uh, how do we do that? Let's get off supply. I want to see their last moves. How did I do that before? It's got to be something that we did out here. Trade convoys. We could leave those. Why not leave those on? No battles recorded this turn, right? But we're on turn two now. Victory objectives. If you were wondering what they are. Changsha, Chungking, uh, Lan Chao, uh, Kunming. Uh, Hong Kong, you know, parts of Formosa out here. So if you're wondering, hey, where are the victory locations? They're kind of what you think they would be, right? So all of those, um, but we don't need those on all the time. We know where the important places are, don't we? Uh, weather. Now we've got, we did have weather on. I just turned it off. We can turn it back on. Enemy action. That's what it is. Okay. There are too many buttons here. I should get to know that. Here we go. You can see where... You can see that they attacked here. Okay. Um, what is that? What is this big red circle? This is where they came out of? Is that why it's showing me that? I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll just have to figure that out as we go along, or I'll have to go read the rule book and figure out exactly what that big red circle is. But the bullseyes, that's where battles were. Okay. And so you can see 
where the battles happened. You can also see where these troops moved. You can see that the uh, Japanese actually retreated here. They were like, well, we would have to go over a river, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to go this way. They did lose some here. We know that because I remember that battle. They did back up here. They're just kind of shuffling their forces a bit. Now, we did have a battle here. This unit should start to wear down. We've got, we should have it a little out of supply. We'll see. We'll see. But the main thing I'm doing here is not necessarily, I mean, of course, I would love to destroy this unit, but the main thing is I just want to distract it from trying to take Cheng Sha. Uh, Cheng Sha is so important that you just want to hold on to it for dear life. Luckily, we've got our best unit out here, combat effectiveness of five. Uh, that's like the best one in China sitting here at Cheng Sha. It is the 17th Army Group. It's got a 30, so it's all built up. Uh, we'll have to go along here and look and see how much uh, strength some of these built back up. Uh, wow, that's only an 8. That's not great, but that got into combat this time. Uh, 15, okay, some of these didn't move a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, we really need them to build up, but that all depends on how much production we got in here uh, for the Chinese. Um, okay. We can go look, well, let's let's look around a little bit more. I want to see a few more things. Down here, uh, they're really putting the squeeze on us here in Malaya. They're almost to Singapore. Singapore is being completely blockaded. We've got no supply. These have no combat effectiveness left is what it's showing us. It's got a big zero there. A zero on the attack, zero defense, zero, I mean, they're just got, they're zeros all around. Uh, zero and one defend. I am going to use operation point. No, nope, they're all they're garrisons. They will not allow you to turn this to active. That's fine. That's actually a good mechanic, right? Some of these truly were nothing but defensive forces, and it would be a little a historical to allow them, you know, to allow you to turn them into a better force uh, for something, you know, a better force to do something they never would have done. All right, let's check out this submarine battle that took place. So let's look at our sub. Skipjack. All right, I say our sub. I got to stop doing that. Let's look at our sub squadron. Our sub squadron, it's got a six defense, three range, three range if it wanted to do a sub attack. And now you start to see the attacks, right? That would be one operation point to attack either one of these. Now I've got the convoy lanes on. Uh, this is a long range submarine, 1939. This cannot advance if it's not in port, is my understanding. So at some point, we'll need to bring it into port, probably when it runs out of supply. It's got three more turns uh, of supply. So we've got to, you know, we've got to watch that. Now the US has 19 oil in the stockpile, and so it's got plenty of oil. It uses one oil per turn as uh, you know all of these sub squadrons pretty much use that uh, and I've learned a lot more about the oil as we've gone along here essentially it's an American unit America has 19 in the stockpile things that use oil will use them each turn it goes into the calculations let's just go to the production and let's go to the U.S. And you can see the 19 in oil stockpile here. It's creating 20 oil per turn now. 15 have to go to upkeep. That includes this, right? And it's got 19 in the stockpile. So, you know, we're adding like 5 to the stockpile each time. It's producing 20 using 15. You know, 5 go into the stockpile. Uh, logistics, you know, we've got plenty of logistics here. I, you know, I think I misread this before. Logistics, this is the maximum. This is how much you have left. That's my understanding. We now also are, you know, we have shipyards coming online. You have a maximum of 600 uh, for your shipyard points. This isn't actual shipyards. It's shipyard points. Uh, we've got 18 right now. That will continue to build, hopefully. Um, Let's see, what else? Okay, we've got 284 in our stockpile. We had to use 97 for upkeep. We'd already spent quite a bit uh, last turn. I mean, we got it down a little bit low. 
Uh, they used 98 for reinforcements and upgrades. We'll go look at that in 97 for upkeep. Uh, so eventually 284, uh, you know, whatever we had left plus uh, whatever, you know, wasn't used in upkeep or reinforcements and upgrades ends up in your stockpile. So that's good. Um, let's go to the combat log. In the combat log, we've got the partisan activity, partisan activity. Okay, this is very quick and easy to go look. We had some in Peking. That's good. We had some down here in Kwandong. That's good. A convoy attack. Yes. And here you can see the attacker was the skipjack. The attacker uh, had no losses. Defenders was one escort. So these must be escorts out here. Merchant Marine sunk zero. Escort sunk zero. Enemy fleet spotted. Yep. Okay. Carrier strike. So these are like light carriers, evidently. Uh, yes, the light, the Zuho uh, light Carrier squad, AA gun losses, zero skipjack loss, nothing. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So enemy fleet spotted, that's this one. Then we had land combat in Mole Mine. As you can see here, the attackers, uh, the Imperial Guards Division, 15th Army, had six to one odds on us. We didn't really have, we had no modifier that was a bonus. We were in planes, that's, a, that's the base, right? 13th Bur brigade group it retreated so it went here to here we're now behind the river they you know can take mole mine there's nothing we can do about that really we lost two points they lost two points okay and if we go and look at this unit let's see where that takes us to uh oh well they must have gotten reinforced during our logistics because our strength is back up to 10 and 10 or oh no 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 was this the one that got hit uh let's go look i think this was the one that got hit and maybe retreated all the way back there let's go look was it the 13th or the 14th it was the 13th. Okay, and so you can really tell what's going on. And it was the one that retreated. As you can see, it's down to a 7 of 10. So it lost two strength points there. This has a 10 of 10. So that's looking pretty good. That helps. Uh, land combat. Here was the second one. Okay, this is where they shattered our garrison. It's just gone. It's off the map nothing to do there it's adios adios we're gonna have to get this air unit the heck out of here this turn uh more land combat uh the attacker lost two points and so they tried to attack here we held and they lost two points strength points uh one and one here oh they tried again okay so we're in hills that gives us a plus 1.25 uh this battle we lost one strength point, but we held. Now it says we held, but we moved back. So they must have attacked more than once. Our defending units were at a, at a plus 1.25 because they were in hills. Okay. Then they attacked again. That's what that was. So we retreated. We lost two points overall, one in each battle. Ground strike. Okay. This is cool. So this is the uh, air war, right? And so we had an air strike that happened. Which one was it? Defender, 19th Army Group. Let's go see which one of these is the 19th Army Group. It's this one. Okay, so I saw this, but it's just showing us where all the battles are. This was 19th Army. All right, and if we go back here, where was that? Partisan ground strike. Uh, right, 19th Army Group. The the Axis attacked land airstrike here. They actually lost one point. We lost nothing. Uh, we had some anti-aircraft ability. As you can see, it was snowing out here too. Tough to fly missions in that. Land combat. This was attacking units, the 20th uh, against the 19th right here. Nothing happened really. We had a little bonus from entrenchment um and we got a plus 1.39 that could i'm not sure that could be the general where that extra little push is coming uh the entrenchments gave us a bonus but nothing else did planes and city that could be oh gosh i don't even want to guess not really we'll figure it out though um out here north luzon 
we had no we have no general attack we don't have a headquarters out here is the problem so this says subordinate meaning none really jungle is a 1.33 all right they lost one we lost two strength points um we retreated you know we moved down here and they came right here okay um we have no effectiveness left holy holy moly uh, we've got eight of 10, but man, are, we're, these are weak units. You know, we just tried to like get as many units here as we could. They're going to be all over us here. We do have the one strong U S Philippine division. Uh, but it, I, I wish this was a large core. You can see they have moved dive bombers onto the Island at a party. And I think they will just start bombing the crud out of this guy. We've got no air assets here anymore. Um, so that was ground strike. Okay. We already looked at that one and that one. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. There are no more. Uh, current, we had more partisan activities. Oh, that's why we were seeing this red. Got it. Okay. So this is current turn um, stuff. What we were looking at there was last turn uh, convoy attack, right? We knew that. Uh, convoy attack here. Another one. Okay, so they, wow, they used three. So there must be several subs out here. All right, how are we going to start our turn? Well, we're going to go look at U.S., the U.S. West Coast up here and see if anything new happened. We can look at deployments. We have nothing for the Brits, for the U.K. Uh, we have nothing this turn. It's December 21st now for the US. Next turn, we'll get two carriers, we'll get a battleship, and we'll get a couple of destroyer, this one's a also light cruiser squad, but mainly, you know, their destroyer anti-sub stuff on December 23rd. We get a bomber group February 9th. We get a division March 2nd. This is the bullhead. We built this. Uh, it's coming in March 17th, and we get a whole nother carrier, lots of carriers. Our first transport will finally arrive March 23rd, uh, another division, okay? We're gonna need even more transports. I mean, we got, you know, here comes more in May and June. We also have the Merchant Marine, we built that. And we have the Wasp carrier that'll come in eventually uh, in 42, kind of mid 42. But you see this big gap, uh, you know, down into 43, kind of, you know, it's kind of every little bit. We get like one thing in the entire month of December and then down into 44. Okay, let's go look at our units. I honestly don't think there's anything we can do with these units. I, I, I honestly, there's just nothing we can do with them. We don't have any way to transport the land units. We don't have, um, you know, any way to get the air units any place we'd want them to go we just don't have transport so that's it is what it is i'm going to go out here one two three four five six uh, uh, do i dare though i really want to sit right here so that they would have to attack me there i am going to move him down one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's move him down a couple Okay, so he's a little further out here. And then we're going to make this destroyer go straight down this line um, to the best of my ability. And the problem is, okay, where was that? It was 146.17, right? Okay, so we're not close to that yet. Let's go all the way to the end there. Now then, let's make sure we'll go look at our report uh, just to make sure that that was 146.17, it was, okay. So let's find 146.17, it is right there. So we are gonna go here for one more operation point. Actually, we'll pull up just a little short. Let's go there. Oh, we spot nothing, interesting, okay. We got a little cat and mouse going here. Now they will have to pull into maybe Wellington. Uh, they can get some fuel here. It's not maximum. We may take it all the way to Sydney. I wish Brisbane was a level five instead of a level four. I think that would be fair, but it's not. It's a level four. 
so it is what it is now we do have this sub out here i maybe should have gone to try to chase this one off oh that reminds me we've got hey we got a sub down here it has emerged from the west coast node it pops out of here uh like a newborn child by australia um let's get this up here so we've got an american another american sub he's got seven days of supply or seven turns a lot more grayling sub squadron so we've got a lot of subs uh, or several let's put it that way now we could move them out here in case the japanese come try to attack something um or we can try to move it into some of their supply lanes and that's what i think i'm going to do the grayling is actually what kind of sub long range okay okay um let's get this where is the convoy route i want to hit i want to get up in here again this is where they're going to be coming right they've got to resupply all of that new territory so let's get that u.s sub headed up there sub squadron i mean the grayling okay what's the next unit it wants me to move this is the aussie 112th garrison at port moresby okay they're really moving in strongly here to rabal yeah you never want to see that dive bomber symbol let's actually let's get back down in here uh oh now it was a dive bomber am i crazy am i crazy maybe i am i don't know i thought it was a dive bomber um can we get oh here we go japanese first air division and the Japanese first and SNLF. Okay. All right. So we actually have pretty decent. We got a reconnaissance report on that. What do we have here? One sub in the area. Japanese 72nd Division. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Well, did this build up? I would like to know. Up to 6 and 10. Okay. So it got a little bit of its strength back. I can't remember. I think that was a 5 of 10 maybe. Uh, I just don't remember off the top of my head. We'll remember that for next turn. Uh, strength six. Now we've got it on priority repairs. And if we get in here, you can see that it's on priority. Uh, and so hopefully that's building up. But let's go back to the U.S. Let's finish that part. I don't think there's anything to do for the U.S. Nothing in San Diego. Nothing in L.A. We move these units about. Uh, we've already moved the destroyer group down there to, trying to uh, hunt subs. We've moved our sub uh, that came out of the Australia loop over there where it says West Coast. Um, these destroyers are fine. San Francisco, we can't move any of this. We can't move any of that in Seattle. Okay, that's the U.S. I mean, there's just not, you know, we're kind of in a holding pattern until we can start moving some troops uh dutch harbor same same idea midway now we were trying to build this up a little faster it went from a two or three to a four so we got a little bit of more strength there i mean i'd like to just have enough to give them problems you know um you can now see the main Japanese task force is gone, or at least we don't we don't have any detection on it. Not that I can tell. Uh, they may have gotten all the way almost back to the home islands. I don't know. I don't see them anywhere. You see some rain up there by the home islands, by the way. Uh, okay, we've got these units. We can't move them. We don't maybe want to move them, but we couldn't even if we wanted to. We've got no transports. Uh, same with this Honolulu force, the uh, U.S. 24th Division. I don't know. I mean, this may eventually be the force we keep here. Um, we're going to keep something, obviously, at Pearl Harbor. Wow, this one is really beaten down. Two of ten out here at Hilo. It's the U.S. Marine Corps Defense Garrison, but it's down to two to ten. What is the uh, supply situation over here? Uh, it's got port supply. And Hilo is a level three, okay, three times 20. So this is a six, five, four. Um, it's always times 20. Uh, and I didn't have that right last episode. So with port supply, whatever the size of the port is, it's times 20. And that's kind of what your supply level would be. Uh, Lahaina, okay, not a whole lot to think about there. Let's get rid of that. And let's look at our ships because it's possible, whoops, 
we could get some ships moving out here if we wanted to. Now, we don't want to move our carriers out of port yet. Their planes, as a matter of fact, are only at 50% anyway, uh, but there's absolutely nowhere to go with these. The only thing we could do with them is something foolish, uh, which is run into one of the Japanese carrier forces and get blown out of the water. West Virginia Group, uh, or Battleship Division, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Nevada, on we go. On, look at all these battleships. We got a lot of them. Um, some of these are really hurting, but they're sitting here in Pearl Harbor. They should start to build back. Uh, over time. It may take some time though. A few of these we may even think about moving out to the U.S. West Coast like San Francisco. Uh, what's it? What's the port level at San Francisco? It's a nine. Okay, probably should have known that, but that's like, you know, uh, repair. We could do it back there, but I don't want to take the chance we run into a sub or something. That could be bad. Or do I? Should I unclick all these and take like the Maryland back there? Uh, the Maryland, the California. I mean, some of these are in really tough shape. Uh, the Arizona. Maybe take all three of these. So we've got one unit that's good. Um, you know, well, it wouldn't really matter. We're not going to, like, run into anything. I'm always so scared of running into something. But in this game, you get to go first. So now we've got those uh, battleships in there. And a few less out at Pearl Harbor. Uh, we may as well take the Oklahoma and the Pennsylvania back there, too, until they get better. Um, just in case we would get attacked here, I don't want them to sink. Uh, you know, you would have thought they may have sunk anyway, but they didn't. Um, and so we may as well get them back to San Francisco, get them repaired. We've got a DD squad out here, destroyer squad. We've got a, a bunch of them, actually. Uh, so let's take those two battleship groups, and we'll take them back to San Francisco as well. And we'll put them into port there. So we've got five battleship groups sitting at San Francisco. Uh, right. Okay. Let's get back on that. Um... What do we want to do? Now, this squad has bottomed out. It should repair itself over time. As a matter of fact, it's back up to 98% effectiveness. That doesn't sound bottomed up. <laughs> bottomed up. Bottomed out. Bottomed up. Uh, they are getting priority, though. Uh, we'll actually take them off. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just get them repaired. Uh, we've got these squads out here. What is their anti-sub ability? It is a four. Okay, it's not great. Anti-sub is a five. Like that a little better. Let's click off them and let's just, oh, I don't want all of these. Nope. Make sure you don't, you know, always go click none and go click on what you want. Uh, let's make sure this is the one with five. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's kind of ring around the rosy here. Now, you know, a lot of times subs will go to convoy routes, but they don't have to. They could try to sneak in this way. And so let's go, you know, a few hexes out and kind of build a ring around Hawaii a little bit. So uh, do we want to do it? Or we could do it up here to protect Johnston. We certainly could, couldn't we? Let's actually do that. Let's put that one squad there by Johnston. Uh, we've got a lot of them out here, so we can kind of pick and choose. Let's do none, and then let's come. Oh, this one's got two of three damage, though. How about this one? Okay, and we'll kind of just put this out here. I don't know, like one, two, three, four, um, and have it hunt for subs. What's its range? Its range is only one. It would have to get within one to hit something, but let's put it right there. All right. Just a little destroyer protection uh, for Pearl Harbor. Do we have, we got a couple that are going to get better. We got a cruiser squad. What's their deal? They're all surface really though. Uh, the Salt Lake, whoops. The Salt Lake, there we go, is a Three anti-subs. U.S. Salt Lake City uh, Cruiser Squad looks pretty good. Uh, same with the San Francisco. And then we get into the battleships, which are nine on 
the surface. They have a little anti-sub because they have destroyers in their group. Uh, this is good for now. We've got a couple out. We'll have a couple more that get done, and then we'll, we'll maybe put them out. Now, this is going to use up oil. If we look at this unit, oil use, one. And so we are going to be using a little more oil here. When we go to the build, uh, you will see for the U.S., you know, the upkeep will go up and the stockpile will go down. Well, not go down necessarily, but that might not go up as fast. OK. Um, all right. So that's Pearl Harbor. I don't think there's really thing, anything else to do there. We can look at the air unit. Uh, this all looks good. It's ready to do it. It's on full support. It will support anything that's going on out here. It's up to a six range, which may be one good reason not to get this more than six away, uh, because it can get fighter, you know, inter error interceptors over the top. 1940 interceptors. Uh, they should advance rapidly as we keep moving up uh, the interception advance chain. Uh, what else could we do with American forces? Probably not much. I mean, we've got Pago Pago. We need to get a destroyer over here and kind of mess with these guys. As a matter of fact, could we even bring... I don't think it's way too far, right? It can, they can only move 24. I guess we could have brought it down here. I really kind of wish I would have done that now. We could have brought it down here to fight this sub. Well, we've got more. Now, a couple of them are a little damaged. Uh, I, 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 what do I do? Do I dare take this chance? I kind of want some action. I'm, I'm, I'm jonesing for some action here. Um, a seven and a three is what the better ones are here, right? A seven and a three. Do I want to, you know, take the chance that something happens to one of these? Uh, maybe. San Francisco, Salt Lake City. Let's just take the Salt Lake City for a little cruise. All right, let's bring it. Oh, now see, I almost did that. I'm glad they stopped me. Um, you've got to make sure you deselect. Sometimes it can be hard to tell because it's multiple pages, right? Uh, and you got to got to go down here. I'm going to take the Salt Lake City for a little cruise, though. We're going to go down here as far as we can. And we're going to come over here to Pago Pago, maybe, next turn between these two forces and try to do a little bit. Now, the destroy, you know, couldn't get all the way down here, but they may get some actual detection on us and get the heck out of here. That's what I really want. Okay, so I think we're done with the Americans. Um, yep, looks like we are. I like this bigger overview. I can tell if I've forgotten anything. I don't think there's anything to do on Canton Island. This is just a garrison. We've now got this out here. There's nothing to do here. There's nothing to do on Suva, I don't think. But I guess this is a tactical bombing group. Their range is 10. Yeah, they can't go bomb. The problem is uh, they don't have enough oil. The uh, New Zealand doesn't have enough oil to run this. It, its oil use is three. So we could, it's got a range of 10. It could try to get out here. But if you look at this, uh, New Zealand only has a one oil stockpile. We've got to send oil to New Zealand this turn uh, because I want that tactical bomber group to work. Um, yeah, they can't fly at all. They're completely grounded because they take, now they, well, that's not true. Look at this. So they can go over here and jump to their other islands. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I guess maybe that's considered kind of an operational move, and so it doesn't take the oil use. So you can always maybe do that. That's interesting. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, let's look at these convoys here and see what the U.S. has going on, because now I want to send some stuff to New Zealand. Unfortunately, I've got all of this going to Australia. We may have to dial this back a little bit and try to give New Zealand, well, I could, uh, gosh. What does Australia have for oil? 
None. Australia has no oil. So, yeah, I mean, that kind of stinks, right? I mean, we've got a really nice air unit here for uh, the Kiwis, the, the New Zealand 4th, 5th Tactical Group. Uh, pretty, you know, they got to build up their strength, but that's a pretty strong unit. Um, there's nothing we can do with them, though. Uh, because New Zealand has no oil. we got to go figure out how to fix that. Uh, if we look here, England, or the UK, I'm sorry, has five left of oil that they can send. They're sending six oil to India, 16 production. If we look at India, it's now up to 65 and 6. Okay, well, that's, you know, better. They may be able to even build a unit this time. China could build a unit. And you can go along here. It's very handy. You can see exactly what every nation has. Now, the Netherlands has 74 oil. I wish we could get that out. Uh, the Dutch, gosh darn it. Why can't I trade with the Dutch? But I can't. Um, yeah, we lost a merchant. Oh, we're actually down. This is showing red because we only have 43 uh merchant marine or you know we're sending out 43 worth of stuff from the u.s it's only got 42 merchant marine ships we're gonna have to change that but the brits still have 19 merchant marine ships you see the u.s has zero soviet union has five let's try to get oil out of the soviet union ah but you can't you can't neutral countries may not trade with belligerent countries so the Soviet Union is still neutral in this conflict, and it's really too bad because they have 22 oil, uh, or two, uh, 22, 202. That's really where we need to get our oil, but we can't create a trade there. It's going to have to come from the Brits. They've they're the only ones that have merchant marines left. Um, so we're going to do five from the Brits down to the Kiwis. So we'll get over here to New Zealand. All right, that will be going through the south or the uh, this will be going through the Indian Ocean and into the South Pacific convoy route, I do believe. Indian Ocean, we can go look, but yeah. OK, so we're going to get New Zealand some oil and that's coming directly from the UK. Uh, and now if you look at this, where is it? Okay, there it is, right here, and we'll see it next turn. We can put uh, resource convoys first. Should it pop up here? Yeah, it will next turn. It just, it's because it hasn't happened yet, but next turn that'll be up top. So we can see the ones that we've actually done. This time you see India. Now we've got oil going to New Zealand, at least for this turn from the UK. The US can't do it because it doesn't have enough merchant marine ships. And as you can see, it's actually got a deficit here. Otherwise, it would be able to send a little more oil out. Um, but, you know, it's only got 42 merchant marine ships and we're already sending out 43 things. And so we're going to go ahead and leave that that way. I don't think it'll hurt anything, um, but we will have a deficit here. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so those are, that's New Zealand. They woke us up to the fact we need some oil. Because I'd really, I mean, we could go bomb this submarine, but they don't have any oil. I probably should have done that last turn. But you live and you learn. Uh, Nomaya. Oh, that's right. I kind of forgot about Nomaya. Uh, right. It's on priority repair. It's got three of ten. We need to get that effectiveness up. You know, the, the effectiveness, well, the effectiveness is fine. We've got to get the strength up. we got to get that up to a 10 if we can. What else was down here? Well, these are just these uh, Kiwi units uh, protecting their homeland. Let's go look in Australia. So we still have this unit in Melbourne. It's now just a division. That's fine. We've got the headquarters. We've got the division in Sydney. That's good. We've got a division in Brisbane. These things are building up. Now, of course, we've also got the Houston here that is now in report. Report? Now in, in port trying to repair. All right. Uh, if we go up here, we've got uh, a, the division in Townsville, the division in Carnes, and then we've got this Brit group here, the 
uh, Canberra squad. I kind of want to leave them here. Now, can they be bombed is the question. It seems like bomber groups, tactical bomber groups, can only go 10 hexes. Uh, at least ours can. Now, the Japanese might be better, Let's, but let's see how far away we are. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, okay. Uh, so we're 11. <laughs> we're 11. Let's back up just one more in case their range is 11. Uh, we're going to back this up, keep it on, kind of trying to protect this convoy route. Now you can see it's still got an operation point if we wanted to do something else, but let's keep that here. We've got Moresby on um, priority repair. That all looks good. Now then, we've got this unit and this unit that are both steaming towards Darwin. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, this is coming across the desert. Ugh. I did want to take one of these to Port Headland, if we could. Uh, we'll see. They're coming down the road. One's going to go to Darwin, one probably to Port Headland. It would be easier to do that with transports, uh, but unfortunately, we have none. Um, these planes are going to go land in Darwin. That's two operation. Both of its operation points will go out here. Tactical group. Oh, wow. That's right. It doesn't have enough to move this. Uh, let's move it by, oh gosh, it can't go any further. Australia has no oil. This is a three oil use. Wow. Okay. We're going to put them in Townsville then. Uh, we're going to have to do that by rail. Okay, so they're going to sit in Townsville uh, until we can, you know, get enough oil out here. Holy smokes. So we're going to put this on kind of like automatic, full support, bomb naval. Um, wow. Okay, well, Townsville is not the worst place for it to be. That's really where the Japanese are pushing right now anyway. That, that may have been the better place to put them, but we're, you know, wow, we're streaking through here. Uh, trying to get to Darwin and Port Hedland. But yeah, Australia has no oil right now until the U.S. really starts to pump it full. Uh, nothing more out here. We know that the um, African U.K. colony out here, there's nothing we can do here until we get transports. So that's all fine. We'll come up this convoy route. Now I've got this out here. Huh? Why did these? Oh, that was my fault. Wow, wow, wow. I moved these all out, and that's, gosh, you know, again, that's why you've got to be so dang careful. I think it's this one I wanted out here doing anti-sub, was it? Ten, seven. Yeah, it was the Exeter. It was the Exeter. So we're going to click that off, and we're going to take the other two back to Colombo. Wow, that could have been costly. Well, yeah, sort of. Not really. I mean, what, you know, with the Japanese, we're going to be all the way out here yet. Uh, but that's it, it's just a good lesson. You've got to make sure that you're not clicking on more than you think you're clicking on. So we've got the Cornwall. We've got the Exeter out here trying to do some anti-sub. Uh, I'm not sure how much they're helping. Oh, you've also got these special buttons here for your naval units. You can use oil or resupply if you have oil. Uh, you can call these in. We'll get to that if we ever need it. Um, I say if we ever, when we need it. We'll need it at some point. Okay, these are all in now. Shoot, but that used oil. Uh, that annoys me. Okay, uh, but we've got them out here now running anti-sub, and we know it's the two we want. All righty. So we've done all of Australia. Let's go look at the Dutch here, and we want to get this air unit the heck out of here if we can. Now, it's all a matter of where, okay, there's a Japanese sub. I don't think we'd seen that one before. It's now moved down here into the band, or close to the band to see. Now, I would like to be able to skip this as far back here as I can. Um, the Dutch have a lot of oil. I wish we could get that oil out of the Dutch East Indies uh, somehow. I feel like they should be able to trade it, but they can't. As far as, I, I mean, you know, from, you don't see the Dutch there, right? Am I crazy? 
Uh, let's get on the Dutch over here, but it's from two. Yeah, I mean, you can only trade out from essentially the U.S., uh, the U.S. and the U.K., and only into these things. So it is what it is. Uh, I always go about, you know, in Pacific War Games, trying to get all the oil out of the Dutch East Indies we can. All right, let's try to skip this out of here, because otherwise it's going to get destroyed. Uh, hopefully we can take it down here and then down to Darwin. But for now, does it still have an operation point? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're going to turn this on. Yeah, we'll keep that on full support, but we'll do it on naval supply. It's really an air combat cap, you know, air fighting group. Uh, but who knows? Who knows what might happen here? Uh, that's fine. This unit, we... Ooh, we can set that to active now. I would like to do that. That doubles its effectiveness. Now, you may say doubles to one. Yay! You know, it's not that big of a deal, but it does double it. Uh, we've got it on priority. Maybe it can repair a little bit. Uh, essentially, the Japanese are going to take Java, though, before the new year. It looks like. It looks like they can just come and take that. Now, we have this group. Oh, this can go active, too. But I'm trying to get down to Palembang as fast as I can. Um... Okay, that's all we've got for that. We had to kind of pick. Do you want it to go active uh, or do you want to move it? Well, we moved it. So let's do that. Can these guys go active? No, we already looked at this. Everybody in Malaya, they're completely out of supply. That's the main reason they can't. Uh, what if I went up here? Could I try to get some supply from Kota Baru? So I'm now taking Kota Baru back. Not that that will last for any strength to look at this Japanese I mean that's got to be a Japanese you know large core right but a 13 wow look at the size of the combat effectiveness on that guy uh right now what are we going to do here in China well first of all let's look at the Philippines but I don't think there's anything we can do these are all on active right uh that's you know we can see the NATO symbol they're all on active We've got some decent strength out here. You know, 10 of 10, 10 of 10. That's 8 of 10, because he just got in that battle. 10 of 10, 10 of 10. Okay. Uh, they just don't have a whole lot. You know, their attack defend is zero. <laughs> so they're not putting, you know, zeros all over here. They're essentially just men. Um, attack, defend over here. It is doubly entrenched. These guys are all at level 1. Because they sat here last time. This is a level 2. Level 1. This one didn't build an entrenchment level. Why is that? Oh, it's in the jungle. Maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not going to speculate. Um, we're going to let it sit there no matter what. So it is what it is. Uh, I don't. Okay, we went through the Philippines. Let's go look through China. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to try to re-engage back up here? This is like 8 of 30 now. Uh, it's going to take us, you know, an operation point to get back up here. But I would like to keep this thing surrounded. Why not? We're wearing it down. I guess I could have put this in here, but that's also 8 of 30. That's 15, 15, 30 of 30. Okay. The Japanese did drop back here, you know, so bully for us, right? I will move this unit. Uh, let's look at the supply. Oh, this is a nine. Well, they're both, you know, it's nine here, nine there. Let's move this here. We'll keep this here. This is in the hills and snow. That's only a five. I kind of wish. Eh, that's fine. It's more defensible there. Uh, we could potentially counterattack down in here, but I'm not sure if we want to go down that route yet. I'm not familiar enough with the game yet to just like start doing crazy counterattacks down here. Uh, right. Seems like we're kind of protecting, you know, we're protecting Kunming, but from against what? Uh, it looks like we could maybe start marching out here, but the supply situation gets really, really bad. Uh, there's real no, really no reason to sit here on the border, is there? Um, 
it's bad supply. I, you know, I can move him back behind the river. Hmm. That doesn't really improve his supply situation. Why don't we do this? Let's move him back and let's have him go take this town. You know, let's put, I mean, if they're going to give us an urban coastal hex, why not? And we'll see how they react here. What's the supply situation here? Maybe that's part of the problem, though. Uh, none. None? Uh, okay, well, he's got three turns that he can last here. He may have to back back up here in a minute. We'll see what this unit does. Maybe they'll come down this road. I'm just trying to kind of distract them. It's not like I really care about the city that much, other than it keeps us from not being completely landlocked, so that's kind of fun. Um, all of this looks fine. All of this looks fine. You know, I really want to hold on to Cheng Sha, but I'm trying. Uh, they came after us here. We could back up, um, but no. I think we'll just stay right here. If they do it, we've got this caval oh, this cavalry squad. We were thinking about maybe trading places with an infantry squad. Hmm. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe eventually. I think for now we'll just stay kind of right here. This unit got knocked back a little bit, Siam, but I think we've got them all kind of where we want them. This all looks good. I mean, we're to, you know we're totally on the defensive, but that's fine. I, I that you're going to be in China. That's just how it is. Uh, okay, now we go to some real important parts here. Now they did not actually take mole mine. Uh, this is a good unit, Indian 14th. I'm going to go back into mole mine. And then I, you know this was sitting here or this was sitting here before. I'm going to move it here though. And then I'm going to start trying to get these units down here just as fast as we can. We can't rail them. There is no rail. This is a road. Uh, and so, unfortunately, the rail starts here. Now, a few things I may start to cut across, uh, but I'm going to bring what I can down here. Wait a minute. Is that the 5 of 10, 10 of 10? Okay. 3 of 10. Right. I'm going to leave him there for now. Uh, oh, this is another 3 of 10. <laughs> That's not great. We're going to cut him across here. I want to have a unit there. Um, I'm going to cut him across that way, and I'll keep bringing this unit down here. We're going to put him in um, Lashio, maybe, or maybe in Mandalay. Probably Mandalay, right? I don't want him to come up here north and try to get this oil, and so probably put them in Mandalay. Um, he's going to stay here. Where is that big frickin' core? Where did that go? That's a division. Did I already split them? I guess I did. Maybe I already split them. I did. Okay. Uh, yeah, this air superiority group. Check this out. We're into Rangoon. Fantastic. Uh, so now we got a little cap over the top. Mission only? Nope. We're going to do full support. Uh, they're only at 7 of 20, so, you know, we got got to hope that this builds up. We're going to put them on prioritized reinforcement. Uh, we did that already with the Flying Tigers. Let's see if they built back at all. Yep, they're already up to 10. Okay, so the Flying Tigers are building up. Then we'll bring them back out here to take on the Japanese Air Force. So now we've got cap over Rangoon. That makes me very happy. It should start to build quickly unless they start trying to bomb Rangoon a lot. But I love having some air superiority there. We've got our uh, uh, flotilla here, a destroyer flotilla. We've also got the ABCD uh, headquarters. Now, you know, this really... I think historically would end up down in the Dutch East Indies and then eventually in Darwin. And I think that's what I'll do with it because it can't really command. Um, what can it? Well, that's a good question. Let's put it in DACA for now. And as you can see, if we click on it, it's not giving any command to these Indian units. Uh, and so it really can't command those, it seems. Uh, okay. Right, now this headquarters, 
is the is the actual Indian headquarters, and we need that down here to Chittagong or just behind these units pronto. And when we click on that, now you see all of these Indian units now are under command. Uh, so great, that's fantastic. Uh, we used all the operation points there, but that's fine. Now remember, I was going to split up the unit, and I think I was going to send one of these back. Uh, that may have to wait. <laughs> I started, you know, dreaming on some of these. I think the 3 of 10... Can we rail it? Yeah, we could rail it. Okay, let's send that back to Delhi. Um, it seems a little silly to have the capital with no defense. So let's put that there. We've got this in Calcutta. It's just a division. When we get some more Indian divisions, I wouldn't mind putting something out here or, you know, in one of the... How about maybe here? What is this? This is Gunther. Uh, or Hyderabad, so if they did land, we at least have a unit here somewhere. Um, <clears throat> it just seems a little silly to not have anything in the capital. I guess we're not really protecting much there, but I want to have something. Port Blair, I would love to get a unit into Port Blair, but I don't think we really have anything to do or anything to send there. Jaffna. Uh, that needs to build up, but that's just a division. We have the Colombo Garrison. We already know Prince of Wales, De Reuter, Repulse. Uh, we could eventually send the De Reuter out to do some anti-sub. It is Oh, it is a three of three now. It's completely effective. And this is drawing off of Dutch oil. Uh, so that's fantastic. Why don't we back up here? Why don't we go put the De Reuter right there? there does that make sense yeah i think it does let's put the deroiter out there the deroiter how many days of supply does that have oh shit i moved all three of them again i've got to stop doing that it's going to cost us at some point um it's the deroiter i want out here Let's click off him and let's take the other two. Well, I've got no operation points with them now. That is going to kill us on some oil use or, it, you know, it wastes some oil. Let's put it that way. Gosh darn it, that makes me mad. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, got to make sure. Got to make sure. That's my fault. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's a turn of... War plan Pacific. I think that you can go around if you kind of know what you want to do with these things. You're used to the Pacific War. You kind of know what your objectives are. I think you can do a turn in about an hour. Uh, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to call this an episode. And when we come back next time, I'm going to resolve turn two. We'll look around. We'll make sure we've got to still. Now, I say we haven't done the entire turn. we got to look at the build queue. We'll look at convoys one more time. We'll look at advancements. Make sure, you know, we did this correctly. But I don't think we really need to, you know, this is going to be another 265, 258 days, whatever, based on how fast, you know, we're, we're uh, looking into this. So, it's going to be a little bit uh, for that stuff, and it's just going to keep clicking away. Now, we can keep to tweaking it, right? Uh, but it's going to be a little bit. So when we come back, we'll look at that build queue because uh, the UK can now build something, and we're going to start building there. The US also has 284. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. I will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Thanks.